Welcome back to McLean's TV. This time we're going to focus on horse racing. I'm delighted to say we're joined by our resident and very popular tipster, Chris, who proved such a big hit for the Grand National as well. Thousands of people have logged on to that to get your information. So what's the inside track on the King George on Boxing Day? On Boxing Day, everybody loves it. Loves about the King George. Is a, it's the, the start of the run-up to the big Cheltenham race. Everybody's looking to get a good run on their belt by Christmas, get themselves set up for the run into March then. So 310 Boxing Day is the King George chase. From a punter's point of view, they would know what that is. But from anybody looking in who doesn't know about horse racing, this is like a this is like City against Barcelona. This is a top class event. Oh, this, this is a big, a big, big winter event. The, the, the horses run this race will their aim will be uh, be events go for the Cheltenham Gold Cup in March. Uh, everybody remembers should remember years ago in the seventies and eighties of Desert Orchid, and then more recent times, Cato Star was a four, four or five time winner of the race. So who do you fancy, or who is the runners and riders this one? Uh, well, we'll, we'll look back to November. There was a, a, a race in Haydock, and four of the five in the, in the top of the betting, uh, they ran in a race at, at Haydock. Uh, the, the winner of that race is, is 11 to 4 favourite, Q card. And I mean, it's, it's a worthy, worthy favourite of the race. It was very, very impressive that day. However, the second and third that day, then has the Sylvan Echo Conte. I don't, I don't believe they're going to give it to him that this time around. They're going to they're test they're going to test him. Q card likes to race from the front, mm. likes to get out and, and bully people into a victory. But I can't see it getting us all to him this time. I think, my, in my opinion, another horse in the race, Alpha Office, didn't run that day. There's nine to two, third in the betting. I think uh, that the, the, the other three will go out in front and leave Alpha Off run on later on to take the race. And this Boxing Day, you know, that that meet as well, too, is a, fa a fabulous meeting. There's going to be thousands interested in that. And the shops will all be busy Boxing oh, Day, yeah. won't they? Everywhere's packed Boxing Day. Everybody loves, loves to get out, have a couple of beers and a few, few bets in the racing. Uh, also on that Kenton card uh, is a build up at Cheltenham Hurdle, uh, sorry, it's set the Christmas Hurdle will ve feature my tent of yours against the new one. Two very good novice hurdles from last year. Uh, the, the new one actually ran last Saturday at the International at Cheltenham was very, very impressive. However, I think my tent of yours and our old friend Tony McCoy will get up, at, will get up on the day and, and beat it. Tony McCoy, 4,000, it's hard to believe the man's a, a, a fanat, fanat. He's very special, isn't he? Oh, it's, it's unbelievable. <laughs> the dedication he shows to go and get, to go and get them winners where other Japanese don't. I mean, he's racing 360 days out of 365 a year. It's unbelievable dedication. Chris, what else do you have on offer now well, for the punters? The other one, that, the other big race everybody knows is the Welsh National. That's on the 20th December, Chepstow. Now, it's very, very difficult. Massive handicap is the same with the Grand National. It's very difficult to get uh, to, to pick a winner in such a large field. However, uh, it's slightly easier as you're always a tried and tested horse, usually too well handicapped. The, the winner race like that, there hasn't been a, a winner carrying over 11 stones since 1977. So you're looking probably for a younger horse, a bit, bit of a lower profile, to come under the radar and, and take the race. And one, one I like in that race is a Gary Murray trained horse, well refreshed, about 12 to 1 at the minute. And uh, it, it ran up a sequence with four or five nice races last year. The problem with them races has I been, mean, we've one season be dry weather at, at the minute, so a lot of horses need, need a bit of rain, which is bit, was probably forecast over the next couple of days. Get a bit of cut in the ground and say 12 to 1 is a good good price. Now, with 12 to 1, would that be each way or, or on the nose? Uh, well, well, it's going to be a 30 runner race, so you're, you're probably looking each way. And I would I would guess that we'll have a special offer from the that day, first five places. So, you have uh, that horse to go in the Welsh, the Welsh National. Who's your who, who's your tip in the other two again, just to put you on the spot uh, here? The King George B. Alpha Roth is about 9 to 2, and my 10 to yours, which at the minute is probably, probably about, a, about an even money chance, however. Depend on the amount of runners in the race. That's not. That's the Paddy Power. Uh, no, that, that's that, that's a Christmas hurdle. Okay. The, the Paddy, as you mentioned, the Paddy Power is another another massive handicap chase. Uh, I've actually marked down here almost on my cheat sheet. We have three three I like in that race. Again, it's the same sort of profile. A younger horse, very few very few runs. Get a bit of a lower profile, and a nice handicap with. So I've marked it Home Farm. It's an Arthur Murray horse, and he's a the the older punters out here will know him. He's historically good at placing runners in a handicap. It was well back to run a, win a handicap at Cheltenham there in this, the start of December, the December Gold Cup, and never turned up in the day. So I think that they fancy that for a big run. Also in that race is Mad Brian and Panther Claw, another two young, younger horses who get, get in there a little weight and hopefully, hopefully take, take the odds. So the bottom line is just to let the punters know here, if any of these bets come up, because you'll be putting your McLean's bonus on them, the chances are if they all win we'll not see you again 2014 oh. would that be right no, I'll, I'll be long gone hopefully. oh you'll be long gone <laughs> a very happy christmas no thanks problem. very much thanks chris very much. and good luck to everybody gonna put a few bets on from the boy remember very very popular chris our number one tipster thank you